Okay, two videos today, folks, just two. Honestly, the least I've ever put out in my whole life. It's now quarter past 11. I'm on my way out shortly. I'm on my way out and half and I've got to have a shave, got to have a shower, got to loads of stuff. I'm out to Haydock Races for the day and then into town all night. It's going to be a long one. I'm going to feel bad tomorrow. I want to put something out today, but as I say, there's only going to be two. The first one's a lot of trivia, a lot of crap, a lot of stuff from the entertainment world. I've not had a chance to really look at all my sources today, so I'm going to give you more content tomorrow. But just a few stories that took me out of one of them last night. Did you see him on the one show again? Eddie, not knowing whether he's coming or going. That's Eddie, your old comedian. He doesn't know whether he's, he's Eddie or whether he's Susie. He doesn't know. He was dressed as Susie last night, lippy on the whole shooting match, but they were calling him Eddie. I didn't quite get it. He's doing a, a, a thing, his own thing, a one-man show of Matt Beth, very successful in New York, I believe, bringing it over to London for three or four weeks. He said it's weird. I go like that and I'm one part, and then like that and I'm another. And I thought, well, you'll be used to that with your Eddie and your Susie. But I don't know what was happening. I don't know if he was coming or going. He had the high heels on, the tights on, the lippy on, the frock on, all of it. But they were calling him Eddie. I thought it was a bit strange. Seems a nice fella. But I don't think he knows where he's coming and going. I certainly don't know. Right. Who else did we have here? Yeah. I see in the paper, Jay McDonald is saying they went in a trans bar only a few months ago. Well, a year or two ago now. Her and Denise Welsh. And as they walked in, they heard one catty trans person say to the other, Oh, look at them. They're two shite lookalikes. They're trying to be Jane McDonald and Denise Welsh. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Yeah, Abby Clancy was saying there, Pete, she said, oh, we have arguments from time to time. She said, it's really funny. When we have an argument, he goes to bed and he puts his pyjamas on like he's stopping me from seeing his naked body as a punishment. And I thought, is that a punishment? Why don't you have that as the norm? And when you're not having an argument, it's... Anyway, I don't know. She said, it was, it was part of a story where he said, unfortunately, in the early days of his relationship, he got caught out sexting. Sexting. But unfortunately, he didn't sext. Uh, that's texting with sex involved. He did it to a mother. Got his wires crossed. Sent an emoji of a beaver or something. What that meant, I don't know. Anyway, Damien, old Damien, says his mum is early. What did he say about her? She's one of the all-time great actresses. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I put her up there. I think she starred recently with Joan Collins. That's another all-time great. They've all got awards coming out there. They've got Oscars the lot. Absolutely unbelievable. Liz Earlies. Oh, she's been in some of the all-time classics. Streetcar Named Desire. On the Waterfront. What else was she in? Papillon, she was in that. All the President's Men, she was in that. She played a political analyst. She's been in them all. She's been in everything you can think of. Anything you can think of, Liz Earlies been in. Maybe I'm making it all up. She's been in nothing. Absolutely crap. I've seen him and her on the old chairs over the last couple of days. They've been interviewed on various shows and I'm thinking to myself, you've not got a lot of clue about uh, movies, have you, my old son? This is the uh, mother and father combo. She, he's just directed her in his first film, his first direction. Um, and she's been taking the clothes off and doing this and doing that and he thinks it's the norm and she thinks it's the norm and I'm thinking to myself, it's not the norm. And I'm watching and listening and looking at him and I'm thinking, you're not making a good fist of being a, a, a fellow of me old son there. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if he's back to the first message to Eddie. I don't know if he's got Eddie issues as well. I don't know. They're weird anyway. They're a weird couple. And I'll tell you what, everyone says how great Liz looks for her age. She's not wearing as well as you think when you're getting some close-ups over these last couple of days at all. She's had some work done, hasn't she? Hell of a lot of work. But as long as she's happy, that's fine. And the camera loves her, you know, because she's one of the all-time great actresses. Anyway... That's it from me. I've got probably more for you tomorrow, probably a lot more, because I use the messages. I do apologise that I've only got two. This is the first. The other one's more for the sporting and racing folk amongst you. I am sorry. I've got to rush off. I've done the best I can. You can't do any more, can you? You can't do any more than that.